Hey guys, I am so sorry about posting this video so late today. Um, I didn't forget about you, but I'm here in Ottawa at the Ottawa Blues Fest. I saw the Foo Fighters last night. David Grohl was absolutely entertaining, full of passion and energy, and it was amazing. And tonight I get to see my favorite performer of all time, um, Dave Matthews, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I did intend to go to Parliament Hill and film with some really beautiful background but it's super noisy here in Ottawa and um, I just had to come to come back to the hotel and find a boring conference room where I could sit and and quietly vlog so I am talking to you guys about something very important today that's often neglected in the fitness industry you know we focus on diet and exercise a lot but what we don't really talk about that's just as important is one of those those pillars of health is sleep and the um, importance of getting adequate sleep and what I mean by adequate sleep is seven to eight hours a night on a, a mostly regular basis so I know we go out and we party and and sometimes we don't get enough sleep but most of the time 80 percent 90 percent of the time we should be getting seven to eight hours of deep sleep that's that REM sleep where we're not disrupted and we close our eyes and we wake up in the morning so I don't know how many of you are getting that I know I'm not but if we could strive to get that most of the time we would be able to reap some of the benefits and um, and not find ourselves with some of the negatives that I'm going to talk about so particularly if you're trying to lose weight sleep is critical okay so poor sleep can contribute to weight gain It's a strong factor for obesity because it disrupts your hormones it disrupts your growth hormone which is responsible for repairing those muscles after you've done a hard workout and for cell turnover, cell regeneration, um, loads of benefits of growth hormones. So if we allow ourselves to sleep well and we get adequate growth hormone, we're gonna see a lot of perks. And I, I'll talk about growth hormone in another vlog, okay? But that's the first one. The other hormone that's disrupted is ghrelin and that is the hormone for appetite. So we have we see higher levels of ghrelin in people who don't sleep well and that means that they're hungrier they're going to be eating more calories but in combination with that they have lower levels of leptin as well and leptin is the hormone that is responsible for telling your for having your brain tell your stomach that it's full and it's okay to stop eating so people who don't sleep well are hungrier plus they don't know when they're full so they're obviously going to consume more calories and have the tendency to gain weight than people who sleep well. I have notes here just in case you're wondering because I don't want to leave anything out. Um, concentration, so your brain is really affected by lack of sleep and um, it's similar being shown that um, levels of concentration and people who don't sleep well are similar to people who are drink how, who have been drinking and who are drunk so alcohol intoxication and that's a very scary one you're you're putting your life in your hands when you get in a car and if you are sleep deprived um, it's the same as being drunk so very scary um, better sleep means also better decision making better focus and better memory recall so you're also going to make better choices when you've had adequate sleep and that goes the other way as well if you haven't had adequate sleep you're going to make poor choices so not only might you be <clears throat> getting in a car and driving when you shouldn't be but um, on an everyday basis you could be you're going to be hungrier you're going to be not knowing when you're full and you might be making not great choices when it comes to food so in terms of what I'm talking to you guys about in terms of weight gain is that's pretty important. In terms of being able to perform athletically or just at the gym, um, people who have better sleep, have better reaction times, they're faster, and obviously when you're sleeping, your muscles are gonna recover faster and better, and so you'll be stronger and have more energy when you do your next workout, so that's really important. Serious time now, poor sleep has been associated with the, a greater risk of stroke and heart disease, and it also predisposes you to pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And that's because it affects your blood glucose levels and makes you 
less sensitive to insulin. And a normal part of the aging process is that we do become insulin insensitive, and that causes us to gain fat more easily, especially when we eat carbohydrates. So just because you're younger, if you're, if you're not getting adequate sleep, you are gonna have a harder time keeping the weight off just from that perspective. Your blood sugar levels are gonna be affected. Your insulin sensitivity is gonna be affected. So once again, sleep is something that you can control for the most part, unless you have some sort of outlier issue with sleep. So if you can get that sleep, um, better quality, deeper sleep, you're gonna have a less likelihood of gaining weight. And here's another reason why you gain weight when you don't sleep well is that higher um, people who don't sleep well have higher levels of inflammation. Inflammation and fat go hand in hand. In fact, as part of my precision nutrition course, we were taught that people who are carrying a lot of fat wanna lose fat. The first thing we need to do is try to deal with the inflammation that's gonna be associated with that fat. And once we help them lose the inflammation, rid their bodies of inflammation, they're gonna have an easier time of losing the fat. So we often prescribe um, fish oil. That's a, a huge anti-inflammatory. But that's an aside. If you are not getting adequate sleep, then you're increasing your inflammation and you're once again making it more challenging for yourself to lose weight, to lose fat. Depression. People who don't get adequate sleep are at greater risk of depression and anxiety. And when you're depressed, you don't have very much motivation to do anything, including exercise. Um, it's not a great state to be in. It colors the way you look at things, and it's something that we should try to be avoiding. And if sleep is adequate sleep is a way to avoid depression, that should be a priority. Um, your immune function is also affected by um, the type and the, qu the quality of the sleep that you're getting and the the duration of the sleep that you're getting, better, better sleep improves your immune function. In fact, you are three times more likely to catch a cold if you are not getting adequate sleep than somebody who is. And being, having a cold is miserable. You don't feel like working out when you have a cold. You just feel like being quiet and it's, it's just not nice. So once again, you, if you can avoid that by getting more sleep, obviously that's an easier that's an easy option. Um, I guess there's one more thing and it's related to, um, I guess, mental illness or not mental illness, but just a perception. Um, when you don't uh, get adequate sleep, you lose your ability to process emotional information. So you don't pick up on um, cues like social cues like anger and sadness in other people and that's really part of what being a human being is about. So you lose that, that part of yourself and that's obviously gonna affect your relationships and your ability to function maybe at work, at life, at the gym, just with your friends. It's not a, a great place to be. So I love sleeping, I'm a pretty good sleeper. I do have that tendency though that we all are um, experiencing nowadays, which is the whole lie in bed with your laptop and watch Netflix and fall asleep. And that's really not your ideal situation. So I am gonna try harder to shut the screens down at least an hour before I go to sleep. Um, you do wanna try to make your environment comfortable for yourself. So a cool, um, a cooler environment maybe having a fan blowing on you, trying to make the room darker, um, whatever you need to do. It is very important. We spend so much time on reading and, and uh, buying good, reading about nutrition and trying to implement all those nutrition strategies in our kitchens and, and, and exercising and trying this kind of exercise and that kind of exercise and spending loads of money on that. And sleep is just such an easy, easy one for you totally under your control, doesn't cost anything, it feels great, and it is, is just, there are just so many benefits. And it's, there. I mean, it's just as important as those other two. So it's kind of silly to be spending all of our resources and time on diet and exercise and not paying attention to our sleep, okay? So 
Hope you guys learned something from that little vlog today. If you liked it, please like and share. Um, if you're new to the channel, workouts are posted on Mondays and I do a little vlog every Wednesday and um, it's on, I could, it could be on any topic and if you guys want to send me in some suggestions that would be great and um, yeah, until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy and get sweaty.